feel like I kind of killed it with this haul. Hi everyone, welcome back today. This feels a little bit weird. I have not been in front of this camera in quite some time. I've been vlogging our experience the whole way through. Um, but I don't think I've had this camera, I definitely haven't had this camera in action since we were back home in Canada. So I have to dust her off and fiddle with her mic and everything, but hopefully it's all up and running and this is all for nothing. But today we're doing a big homeware haul. So we moved into our new Amsterdam apartment and as you can tell, it's still a little bit echoey. Especially when I move back, I think it's gonna be even more echoey. So we gotta fill it with stuff. Um, I didn't wanna leave it with just the bare basics, so I bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's all from Zara Home. It started with one item and just got a little out of control. <laughs> I ended up with like 15 or 17 items in my cart, um, but they were all really reasonably priced. I was surprised. Zara Home is really popular over here. Um, not so much in Canada, but over here in Europe, definitely. Ken was a little bit shocked when um, he came home the first day because everything was like packed basically to the front door here. And I had like the guilty dog face going on. I was like, oopsie, sorry. <laughs> what? Did you do this? Let me see your face. Oh my goodness, Denver, you didn't. I can't believe it. Are you sorry about it? He'll love it in the end. He does love, love like a cozy home and everything, so it's not a problem. But um, it was kind of funny that day. He was like, what have you done? <laughs> this, there's more coming. So as you can see, you've got quite the pile to go through. I'm gonna back up and just kind of tear things apart. I've kind of semi-opened things a little bit um, just to take a peek to make sure everything was there because I actually thought one item was missing and I didn't want to contact them and blame them for missing something if it was already there, you know, the whole. Never mind. It's right here. Thanks. Bye-bye. The item was missing, but it's here now. It arrived today, so let's get into it. So this apartment's a little bit different from our previous apartments. It has a different style to it. It's still nice, bright white walls, which I love, but there were quite a few pieces already in the apartment that we weren't able to take out, like the couch and the side chair and that kind of stuff. This big ugly lamp. You can't see the side here that I've pushed out of the way. So I kind of am basing all my picks on around the couch basically. It's much more like cozy, home, almost like like farmhouse cozy. The, I, the thought I have in my head is kind of Meryl Streep's house from It's Complicated. I love that movie, it's one of the best. But there's lots of like woods, whites, creams, linens, that kind of feel. So that's where we're going. So I made myself a little vision board of all this kind of, of all this stuff that I picked out. Put it up on my computer, it all looked like it works there, so I'm hoping it all works in here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with the basket here. It's full of all sorts of goodies. The first thing I picked up is um, a new duvet set, as well as the duvet. This is my big new giant duvet. It's a super king. Never had one of those before. I feel like a grown up. The king in our room is, I think it's a standard king, but for some reason the duvet is also a king, but it doesn't quite roll over the edges. It just kind of sits, you know, a couple inches on each side, which I don't really like. So I went with the Super King, so I just want it to kind of drape and hang a little farther over. I think it just looks more, a little more luxurious and cozy that way, more hotel style. So I went, bumped it up to the 260 by 220 centimeters, which is on the Zara site is considered a Super King. Of course, it is just the duvet cover. It doesn't come with the pillows. So those are in here somewhere. It wasn't expensive at all. I think it was like 29 euros. So um, there's definitely way more expensive options out there. So I would say it's kind of like a taupey color, like a warm taupey grayish. <laughs> At least I hope that's how it's going to look in the room against the white wall. Everything in the white in the bedroom's white as well. So uh, hopefully it's nice and soft and comfortable. Ken's a little more particular about his bed linens than I am, but as long for me, as long as it looks nice, I'll deal with however comfortable it is. <laughs> and then you can never have too many throw blankets. I've already got one from Primark already. I showed you in another video. But then again, with like the browns, warm kind of colors, I, I never used to buy these. So I'm like, I feel like I'm kind of retraining my eye to look at things I normally would just brush by. And that's kind of what I ended up, like my whole cart was basically stuff I normally would bypass because um, they're like browns and linens and stuff and I've never shopped for that kind of stuff. But you can never have too many throw blankets. It's like the key to making any house look really cozy 
and welcoming. So I have no idea where this is gonna go. It'll find a spot somewhere, maybe in the spare bedroom, the office area, or just hanging over the edge of the bed. But there's another blanket that I got that I think is gonna end up on top of the bed to kind of add an extra layer of color and texture in there. This is nice, it's cozy. It's kind of like a zigzag print in the front here, mixed with like taupe and beige colors. And then on the back, it's just all beige, which I quite like. Kind of get two different options and has a nice heavy feel to it. So that was a good one. Glad I picked that up. And then I had to get a few pillows. It makes such a difference to a room when you've got a bunch of really cozy pillows in there. I know men generally don't like pillows. <laughs> I know Ken doesn't like too many pillows, and I can understand that, especially on the bed, because it makes the bed more of a pain to make in the morning, but um, it really does, especially in the living room, makes the room look more complete when you've got a bunch of pillows that work really well together. So I picked up these ones. I like the shape, for one, because I got a few things that are more squared off, and I like to do different things, not all the same, you know? It gives a little more variation to the room. Um, and I love this color. It's like a really desaturated, greeny, gray kind of color and then the contrast on the side here. So um, once it's stuffed, pillow should be in there somewhere, um, you'll have a nice stripe down the edge of it, which I think makes it look a little more expensive than it actually is. I can't remember off the top of my head how much these were, but they, they were under 10 euros. I'm thinking they're gonna look really good on the couch here, possibly in the bedroom. Um, yeah, I think that'll look good. I think I got two of these. There's another one here somewhere. The other one I got is a square version squared off pillow, making one heck of a mess here. <laughs> a giant linen pillow. Um, so like I said, I'm really going for, towards those linens, the heavy materials and whatnot. I'm getting overexposed here. The sun's coming out again. So yeah, it's exactly how I thought it was gonna be on the website. It's really nice and thick. It feels a lot more expensive than it is. And it's a really good size. It's kind of an oversized statement pillow. Probably will end up in here as well. <laughs> I think that's gonna work really well with the cream colored couch. Adds a little texture on it with the carpet and the wood coffee table. And then one of these guys in front of it. And then I need something printed, I think. It's a little too flat, but we're getting there. One thing at a time. There's another one of those same uh, rectangle pillows. And then the pillowcases for the duvet case that I got, or duvet cover. <laughs> I hope there's two in here. Pack of two, good. So the same kind of taupey color with the uh, pinstripe piping along the top there. I like that, nice little detail, something different. And then I think these are all the pillow stuffings for the ones I just showed you. Yes, let's see. Let's stuff you. There, it's actually quite soft for linen too. But I really love the, the piping, the little side there, so. Happy, happy, happy with that. What is this? I honestly don't remember some of what I bought. Just got a little bit quick happy with all the sale prices and just threw everything in there. Feels like Christmas came early. So very exciting. It's a little candle. Every cozy home needs a good candle. It's kind of like a ceramic outside and then kind of like a peachy color, actually. Shiny little polka dots on it, so. That'll probably be on the coffee table at some point. Next is something a little bit taller, mixing up the heights to keep it looking exciting. And then the big guy here that you can already see, this was a great price for how big it is. I was not expecting it to be quite this big. Oops, I got two of the pillowcases. Now I have four of those. A lot of these baskets that I've seen are one color. They're all this color, they're all this color. I like that this one's two-tone. Again, it gives the room like a little bit of a variation, a little more interest. It's huge, so if I don't find a good spot for this blanket, I love the way a throw blanket looks, just sitting kind of hanging out of it next to the couch somewhere. If you're watching a movie, you know, you can grab your little blanket from the side of the couch and get cozy. Or for when Ken's in trouble and he's sleeping on the couch, this would be good for that. <laughs> Kidding. Um, but yeah, this is like amazing quality. If they still have this online, you guys should go grab one of these. <laughs> Okay, and then moving on to a couple of the bigger items. Big guy I got was a big giant poof. I think I've had one of these for almost every apartment <laughs> that I've lived in now. We had one in our Vancouver apartment, definitely. Um, 
No, maybe not. Just maybe our, our Vancouver apartments, I think I've had one of these. Um, but they're just so versatile. You can just throw them anywhere. I use them, I'm gonna use it as a little footstool next to our little club chair here in the living room. I think it's gonna work quite well with all the tones again. It has that like linen-y feel. Um, really durable. You could even use it as an extra seat if you're having lots of people over and just pull it up close to the table and someone could sit on that. Or if you put a hard surface on top of it, you could use it as a little side table as well. So very multi-purpose. I think it was $29.99. A great bargain. If you have a TJ Maxx or a Winners HomeSense close to you, they always have these there. So I think that's where I got my original one that is now living in my mom's house. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a bit awkward. How shall we do this? Am I still... <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be sweating trying to get this thing out. Ooh. This was also a great price for what it is. Way bigger than I thought. Oh, there you are. Big giant mirror, gold frame. I kind of like it this way, actually. I thought for sure I'd use it this way. Maybe this way. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking eventually we're going to end up with a dresser here and I want to do like a little vignette kind of area, like um, like picture frames, plants, a mirror like this kind of leaning up against the wall, but maybe maybe this way. Depending on the height of everything that I collect for that spot, um, it'll go one of those two ways. But we also need a mirror for our little bathroom upstairs. The one that's in there is not my favorite. I mean, it, it does the trick, but I don't really like it. It's already got the little hooks on the back there, so you can hang it this way or this way. I, th I want to say this was like under 30 euros as well, so not bad. This is like really nice. Maybe I should have got two of them. <laughs> it's heavy as well. I'm trying to add a little bit of gold into our space as well because in the direction I'm going, it can come off a little bit farmhouse, and I don't want farmhouse, like French farmhouse or anything like that. I just want it to feel like Meryl Streep's house from, it's complicated. But to keep it from looking too farmhouse-y, <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to add like little bits of black, um, little bits of gold to keep it looking a little bit more modern rather than everything being like taupey linen greens and stuff. So yeah, I'm kind of trying to mix modern, modern and farmhouse. For, to make like a really warm space. And I'm really hoping it all works out because I don't want to have to return any of this stuff. That'd be a pain in the ass. This is another blanket I grabbed. This I had in mind for our bed on top of our duvet cover. I was originally looking for a duvet cover that was more of like a true linen color, um, something a little bit darker like this. I've only ever had white bedspreads and white duvet covers. So this felt like a big departure for me to choose something that's not white. But I just thought it would, act, it would look really good just draped over the end of the bed on top of the taupey color bedspread, um, the two of them together. I think that looks like Meryl Streep's house, definitely. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what I had in mind for it. It's really nice. Again, like the quality is definitely there. I'm surprised that um, they can drop their prices as low as they are. I think it's a pretty decent size as well. So just cozy. So damn wiggly, cozy, comfy. I see myself wandering around the house in this stream winter for sure. Being attacked by boxes. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a perfect size to go over the end of the bed. I feel like I kinda killed it with this haul. Watch me eat my words when I put it all together and it's horrible, but. See you it's mine now. Okay, a few more things. So this one is another mirror that I had in mind for, Ooh. yep, starting to sweat. It's like a thousand degrees in here and I had to close all the windows because of the construction. Is what I had in mind for the bathroom upstairs. The one I, up there is actually the same shape, but it's like a dark rattan kind of material. And I don't know, I don't like it. It's a little bit too short too, I think. This one's gonna be a little bit better size. Go this way. So yeah, I saw this one on clearance. I'm trying to add lots of different woods and different colored woods, different wood textures to the rooms too. I think that really helps elevate the room a little bit and make it look a little bit more, um, not like I just threw it together in a few weeks, like I've been living there for 20 years and collecting all these items from all over the world, which is certainly not the case, but we're gonna try to make it look that way. But this is like, again, really heavy. I would expect this would be a lot more than it is. And it's just like a natural wood color all put together in these little slices. 
Um, similar shape to what's up there, but I think it's just going to look a little cooler, a little more modern, and a little more stylized, I guess. Um, I'm not planning to do too much with our bathroom up there. It's, our toilet is actually separate from the washroom, so it's just a little toilet room, but um, can't really do too much with it. It's a toilet. But that rattan mirror just kind of drives me nuts, so I thought that was worth the bucks spent to get rid of that mirror there. <laughs> oh, it's such a mess. Cannot wait to get all this stuff in their places. This is just a little decorative item. If only Ken could walk in right now to see what I have done to this place. Woo! Again, trying to add a little bit of gold. So, got myself a little tray. This, I think, is going to end up on our coffee table in here. Um, put a few little trinkety things in there. Again, make it feel a little more lived in. It's got a nice mirrored bottom to it. It's just simple, sleek. It's not gonna like be too distracting in the room. It's just gonna blend in and make it look a little more like it's properly decorated. <laughs> and this is an odd one. I showed Ken that I had bought this <laughs> online. He was like, what the heck were you thinking? But I love it. So it's a bodice, but it's a dog head. <laughs> and it looks like a golden retriever. So I'll have to give him a name. We desperately want a dog, but just can't right now um, for a variety of reasons. But at some point we will, but until then, this is gonna be my little buddy. If any of you have been following since France, then you know I had a little buddy living in our backyard, a little black bird with a yellow beak called Wilson. And then I had Wilson too <laughs> in the next place. Um, so maybe this will be my new Wilson. It kind of looks like a Wilson. Okay, I think that is it for the box stuff. The very last and the best piece, the thing that started it all, is our new carpet. I have been on the hunt pretty much since we landed in this place for the perfect carpet exactly. Had to be perfect. Had to be the right tones, a little bit of color, had to be Persian style but not ready. I didn't want anything with red or orange in it. Kind of takes over the room a little bit too much for me. I like the look in some rooms but not for this one. <laughs> It also had to be a really great size. So this one is six feet by nine feet and it had to be a great price. So this one hit the nail on the head. I originally was looking for something with a little bit more green in it, but in some ways this one looks slightly green, which I really like, but it's mostly like taupes. It has a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. I love that it has that like Persian fringe on the side of it, which a lot of them I find don't have. These like remade Persian rugs that are a lot more affordable than an actual Persian rug. So I was thrilled when I found this one on Zara.com. I was like telling Ken, I was like, it's part of the sale. I need my tape measure like right now. I got to figure out this is going to work here. And then I hit purchase like as quickly as I could because I was afraid it was going to sell out. Um, the last time I checked, they do still have some of this bigger size available online. Um, but I think it works like kind of perfectly in here. Once I get some darker pillows on the couch and um, we get this side of the room kind of figured out, I think it's all going to work quite well. And if it ends up looking a little bit too farmhouse country, I'll just put more black in. That'll save it. <laughs> I think this is one of those carpets that's going to get better over time as well. So it kind of like wears in and like flattens a little bit more. Not that it's a high pile at all, but it looks like really perfect at the moment, which a real Persian carpet isn't. So, um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited to get break it, in, break it in a little bit. I'm sure Ken will drop plenty of things on this carpet. Hopefully not red wine because that's not going to work so well. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's everything that I've picked up at Zara so far. There definitely is going to be a huge Ikea haul as well, but that's going to be more, I think it's going to be more basic kind of stuff and a few things for this side of the wall. Um, and I have a couple more carpets coming as well for throughout the house. I love carpets. Pillows and carpets, very important to make a good selection on those too when you're redecorating a house. So make sure you keep watching future vlogs because I'm probably going to put all this stuff up um, over time and it'll just end up in vlogs here and there and you'll get to see where everything ends up, what it all looks like, styled in its place, where it's going to live, and you'll kind of see it all come to life, see the vision come together over there in the vlogs. So make sure you're subscribed for one um, so you'll get a notification when a new video goes live. Make sure you give the video a like if you did enjoy it and hit the share button. You can send it off to your Facebook. If you know somebody that's redecorating a room right now and might like some of these selections, then um, send it off to their Facebook page and have them give it a watch. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I can already tell I like the way all this looks, even though it is 
displayed like it's garbage. <laughs> I like it. I'm excited. 